So Don, want to talk about a real life client of mine and a little bit with the market. Um, a lot of people are saying that they basically feel that they are in jail in their home because they might have an interest rate of let's say 3%, 3.5 or 4%. And they feel like they can't move even if they want to. I'm sure you've had clients that have said that to you. Yeah, so your client came in to meet with you. He did. And they have an interest rate of 3.5%, you Correct. were telling me. On a 30 year fixed. So when did he buy his house? Three and a half years ago. Nice. So how much equity will he have when he sells? Well, we, we mapped it out. He, it's actually under contract. He's going to net about $245,000 of equity. Wow. All right. So he's going to have $245,000. What's his next plan? His plan is to buy a house on a lake. The purchase price is about $350,000. And he's going to put all that money down that he has toward the down payment. $245,000. So he's going to have a loan amount of what? $100,000? Correct. Wow. And the interest rates are in the sevens, so he's still going to have a very affordable payment. And he can do a 10 or 15 year to get the best rate. I like that. And he's only going to be borrowing about 105000 roughly. So when we did the math on it, even though the interest rate isn't attractive, what we were finding out that is even on a 15 year mortgage versus a 30 year mortgage, and even with the interest rates, you know, double what he has right now, his payment is going to drop significantly and the, pay and the loan will be paid off much, much faster and about it. 12 years faster. I like it. So for the people out there that feel that way, every situation is a little bit different and you have to look at what's best for you and your family, but there are ways that you can take advantage of the market because if you do have equity in your house or it's appreciated, you might have a large down payment to put down. That makes good sense, CJ. So if you have a situation where you would like us to run some analysis, maybe we meet face to face or through Zoom and we talk through and see what your special situation is, we can run and figure out how much you'll net out of the sale of your home and how much equity that will give you for your next house and run some scenarios for you to see does it make sense for you to sell and buy, buy and sell. And uh, then in the future, when rates go down, a person can refinance, right? That's what you're saying to me. Oh, 100%. The good thing about something like this is the numbers don't lie. So we run the math, math is math, and you make the decision from there. One of the things I know is right now for borrowing power, for every 10,000 that you're borrowing, it's about $70 a month. So I'm guessing a $100,000 mortgage might have a payment of about $700 as a 30 year, maybe 900 as a 20 year and 950 to 1,000 is a 15 year? Close to 1,000, yes. Neat. Okay. Awesome. Thanks for watching. Thank you. We're out.